Welcome to another episode of Savage Cash. Here with me, Superman, your superhero cryptocurrency expert. In today's episode, we are going to be covering what makes a top cryptocurrency investor or trader. Okay, but just before we get on to that, I'm just going to basically update you on yesterday. There were a lot of people who became students of mine in this course, the Cryptocurrency Long-Term Investment Opportunity 2017. And as you will see, there is nobody answering in the comments of my yesterday's video saying what the coin is or anything like that because the whole reason why I am basically going through this process to let you know what the coin is is because I only want serious people involved. OK, now, if we go back to what happened with Chaincoin, what happened with Chaincoin is that there were so many people that got behind it, but there wasn't enough belief. OK, so there was quite a bit of there were quite a few passionate people behind the coin, but there wasn't enough belief across the community. And so when it started crumbling, it completely fell down, completely fell down. So if we have a look at Chaincoin, Chaincoin got to six dollars. Today, it is worth 25 cents. Okay, so it has gone down so significantly significantly from its peak. So there are people saying, Superman's a scammer. Why do you have to pay him to be part of his community? Why do you have to pay him to find out what this coin is? This is the reason. I don't want people coming to, you know, finding out what the coin is and then just dumping it at the, sh at the smallest sign of gain. Uh, what we found out over the course of the last few days is that this coin has gone from nowhere, pretty much, to 22 times gain. Now, it has since gone down. And the reason it's gone down is a lot to do with Bitcoin and also a lot to do with wheedling out the early investors, the early whales that couldn't hold on and were pretty idiotic, if you ask me. You know, I believe that this cryptocurrency that you will find out about in this long-term investment course is very similar, very similar in nature to NEO. Now, it's not similar in terms of what it does, but it is very similar in terms of the fact that it is a very valuable coin, is in its very early stages, and if you invest in it, your money will go a long way. And I told people about NEO or Ant shares when it was $4. Now, people have said, oh, Superman, you can't take the credit for that. You know, we told you about Ant shares while it was going to $11. Yeah, because lots of people tell me about coins when they're on the rise. There's no substance behind it. They're just saying, oh, Ant shares is going up. Cover Ant shares. Tell us about Ant shares. We're investing in it, but tell us why we're investing in it. And I'm thinking to myself, why should I cover a coin you're invested in you know, why should I do the research for you? Why should I cover the USPs for you? You should do that. I'm not covering it for that reason. And a lot of people got invested in Ant shares simply because it was just going up. They were chasing a peak. OK, they didn't necessarily know what they were investing in. And when I came out with my video, uh, when it was at four dollars, I was very, very comprehensive about my review of Ant shares, what it is, why it's valuable, why four dollars is a ridiculous amount of money that the coin is worth compared to what its future value is. And I think that the coin that I speak about in this course is very similar in nature in terms of the fact there is such a long way to go. What separates this coin from a lot of the coins that people are hyping about, and the funny thing is, is looking at the comments, no one's meant, no one's guessed it. People that are outside the community are guessing all sorts of weird things, Ripple or IOTA. It's none. Of, it's not that. It's not Omnisco or Omisco, whatever it's called, OMG. It's not that. Basically, it's a coin that's flying under the radar because it's not on any significant exchange right now. You won't find it on a significant exchange. That means that not many people know about it, even knows it exists. Okay, and that is the amazing thing because that allows the coin to grow over time. Okay, there's such a roadmap. It's got to get on a major exchange, which is in the process of getting on. That is why I recommended people take this course because by going on this course, you don't need to wait for it to go on a major exchange. You can invest before it goes on that exchange because once it does go on that exchange, it's only going to go 
higher and higher and higher. Okay, so it's not on a major exchange. Hardly anybody knows about it. I pretty much govern a community around this particular cryptocurrency. There's no other communities talking about this. That is what has allowed my community to make so much money and everybody else to miss out. Anyway. That is enough for now about that coin. But if you do want to find out what that coin is, just literally become a member of the Cryptocurrency Investment Opportunity 2017 class and you will become a member of my Facebook group and Telegram group at the same time. But when you take this course, you will essentially find out why I'm investing in it, why I believe it's got great long-term potential, the investment system that determines whether this is a good cryptocurrency or not, how to invest in this cryptocurrency, where do you find it, and how do you basically store it and keep it safe in a wallet, and why you should accumulate it and all sorts. So it's very good. It's got 1,200 students now, so that's great. Right, so what makes a good cryptocurrency trader or investor? There's two things, okay? Number one is aptitude. Okay, so aptitude is how quickly can you pick it up? How much um, does cryptocurrency fit in with your IQ? Do you get it? Can you understand quickly? Do you pick up concepts quickly? Okay, this is what I personally found. I took to cryptocurrency so quickly. Okay, when I first started doing cryptocurrency, it initially, I was, you know, intimidated by all of these, you know, what are these numbers? Why isn't it in US dollars? What does this even mean? What are these acronyms? You know, how do you determine what's going to fall, what's going to rise, blah, blah, blah. So I was intimidated. I started off just like everybody in cryptocurrency, wondering what the hell do I need to do to be successful in this area, okay? And one of the things that I did actually, funnily enough, was I actually followed what was said in the troll box. That was one of the big mistakes because what I found eventually was that in the troll box, which has now been disabled, funnily enough, is that all people were doing were bigging up their own coins. They were just saying, oh, Ripple's going to go times a thousand in the next week. Um, Bitcoin is going to go to 2,500 in the next day. Yeah, and that was back when Bitcoin was 1,500. Okay. So, you know, the troll box was a bad place to go for, you know, to find out uh, what's going on in the market and what coins are looking hot. Okay. So, aptitude's a big thing. How quickly can you pick it up? Okay. Once you actually get involved, understand all the areas involved in cryptocurrency, how quickly can you pick it up? Now, I offer another course uh, in addition to the cryptocurrency long-term investment course. I also offer another course, which is this one, the Cryptocurrency Investment Course 2017. And this is the course that is all you need to do well in cryptocurrency because it teaches you everything. It teaches you the theory and the practical implementation of everything. And then it is simply a case of continuously going on the exchanges every day and basically looking at coin movements, researching the coins, looking at the market news surrounding some of the coins that are really, you know, thriving. Now, at the moment, it says here that Bitcoin Cash is like plus 82,000%. Now, this is a glitch. Don't worry about it. It's simply literally because it's just been added to the exchange and there's probably not a lot for it to be based on. OK, there's not, not a lot for it to be assessed against. So don't worry about that. But normally, if something is doing well, it's because there has been something that determines the rise of that. So it's normally either market news. So, for instance, something that came out last week, um, which I haven't covered here and it, and it has no impact right now, is Litecoin. Now, there was an amazing article the other week about Litecoin, which is that this website called Overstock... Let me just find it. So it's a com company called Overstock. They're an online retail company. Uh, you can buy all sorts of things. It's a bit like an Ikea kind of marketplace. And they have just recently started accepting cryptocurrency as a form of payment for items. That is the first sign of real life coinciding with cryptocurrency in a significant way. An actual online marketplace 
using and allowing cryptocurrency as a method of payment in addition to PayPal and credit cards. Okay, so Litecoin was one of the main ones that it used. So it showed a few. It showed Bitcoin, it showed Ethereum, it showed Litecoin, it showed Dash, it showed Monero, uh, NEM, and a couple of others. Okay, and what happened was Litecoin immediately went up. So that is market news. That that actually made the price spike temporarily of Litecoin. All right, so basically aptitude is one thing. How quickly can you pick it up? The second thing is literally time. Now, if we look at kind of time versus aptitude, this will accelerate your ability to do cryptocurrency trading and investing uh, a lot easier, okay? It's going to make it, you're going to become proficient in cryptocurrency trading and investing. What's the difference between trading and investing? Well, basically, trading is short-term trades, okay? So you're buying a coin for the short term. You're looking to buy here, sell here, okay? As simple as that. It's a very short term. Okay, it's simply a case of getting into a cryptocurrency whilst the value's low. You there's a bit of market news that determines that it's going to go up. You buy before it starts rising. You sell when it starts to fall. Okay, that is trading. Okay, a lot of the big whales in cryptocurrency that is what they do. They basically, you know, they basically buy a cryptocurrency. Then they put a sell order immediately on that cryptocurrency. So that if it falls below the actual price that they bought it at, then it will just automatically sell. So there's like no loss. Although there's a transaction fee, most whales are willing to take a bit of a transaction fee. They don't really care. It's a small price to pay than losing, you know, hundreds of thousands of dollars in a trade. So that's how the whales play it. They put an instant sell order that as soon as the price goes below the price they've bought in at, it will just sell the stock so that they only pay the transaction fee. Now, what they then do is they wait for that cryptocurrency to go up about 5%, 2 to 5%, small profits, okay? 2 to 5%, they wait for it to go up, then they sell it, move on to the next one, do the same, sell it. And that's how they just keep on getting richer. Okay, they basically make a small profit and then they exit the trade. That is trading. Investing is when you buy something like Steam. Okay, now Steam at the moment is just ridiculously cheap. Okay, now I told you yesterday that the sats is all messed up. And people have said in my comments, they've gone, Superman, sats are what matters, not the USD value. That's a load of crap. Okay, because at the moment, you know, Steam is 26,000 sats. Okay, but. It is a whole 40 cents more than Steam when I bought it. And Steam when I bought it was at 33,000 sats. Okay, so don't pay any attention to, to, to sats. Pay attention to the dollar value. Because if you buy at 26,000 sats, you're getting Steam for $1.11. If it reaches its all-time high, which is $2.74, you're only literally going to make double gain plus a little bit. Okay, if you got it, if, if it was at 26,000 sats like a couple of weeks ago or maybe even three weeks ago, 26,000 sats would have been about 50 cents, 50, 60 cents. OK, so that means that you would have made, you know, about three, four times your investment. OK, so sats really are unimportant. But anyway, you would invest if you're an investor, you would be investing in a cryptocurrency for the long term. Now, crypto now Steam has reached once before $4.31, okay? So it has proven um, track record in having a relatively high value. Now, a lot of cryptocurrencies that you will see are normally, if we blank out this bit, so if we literally just go on this bit, this is what a normal cryptocurrency will look like. It will be flat and then all of a sudden start growing. In the case of Steam, it has actually had a very high value before. So there's every likelihood it could achieve that again because it has hit it before and it may hit it again. OK, so you would invest in something like Steam at a small at a low price like I did. I invested in it at 74 cents or so. 74 cents I invested in Steam. That is now a bulletproof price. I don't see it ever going near 74 cents again. And I can now just hold it for the long term. I can make sure this just stays vested in my wallet and it just stays there, stays there until 
it reaches a significant value, it makes a substantial gain, and then I sell it. That is what long-term cryptocurrency is about. And long-term investing is actually what I do. That is my bag. Now, I do occasionally, if I was to put like a ratio on it or a percentage basis, I would say I do 85 to 90% investing, 10 to 15% trading. Okay, there are times, and you know, I've gone on YouTube and I've said, you know, NXT, get NXT, bit shares, get bit shares, ARDA, get ARDA. You know, there have been occasions where on a short term basis, I will say there's some market news coming up, get it now. Okay, so that is where the short term uh, trading side of things comes out. But I only do it very occasionally. And the main reason why is because of the burn. Okay, the burn risk. There is so much risk to short term trading that it's not really worth doing. Because if you do short term trading, you know, every now and again, you're going to have a great day. You know, you're going to make an amazing gain. And then other times you're going to buy on the high or buy on the peak. And then it's just going to drop like a lead balloon, like a sack of potatoes lifted from a skyscraper. It's just going to go crumbling down and you're going to lose a load of money. So that's why I do short term trading a lot less because of the burn risk. OK, however, long term investing, if you get in at a good price point and of course, looking at, you know, um, Poloniex today, there's a lot of red, a lot of red, a massive sea of blood, bloods on the streets, too. OK, and that is the time when you start looking at cryptocurrencies Particularly the ones that you you favour. Look, Steam's already got up. One eleven was quite a, a a low price. So if you get invested because the price goes right down, okay, then that is the best way to play long term cryptocurrency investing is by going into a coin at a very low price, at a price much lower than it's been recently, or a correction, or when the market. Claims back about 60-70% of its previous value. You get in at that point and you just wait. You hold it in cold storage and you just leave it there until you're ready to cash out. So how do you become a better cryptocurrency trader and investor? With time and aptitude. Okay, that is how to do it. Now, those that don't necessarily have the aptitude need more time. Those that do have the aptitude need less time. But it's basically a case of just making sure you are going onto the exchanges all the time, looking at how coins move, getting yourself acquainted with market news, getting yourself acquainted with what all the coins are about and what they are striving to achieve, looking at ICOs. Now, there are quite a few ICOs about right now. I'm going to probably do a video over the next couple of days about the ICOs that are coming up, which look interesting. OK, because if you get involved at an ICO, that's normally when you can get in at the best price. OK, so that's what you need to do. You just need to just get involved with cryptocurrency. OK, don't just literally, you know, go in there and rely on somebody else to do your work for you. A bit like what people sometimes do with me. People rely on me to bring them market news or information or the trades they should enter into. You should be doing that yourself if you want to be achieving something in cryptocurrency. You need to get involved with the industry. You need to understand why coin prices are moving the way they are, why Bitcoin and why when Bitcoin suddenly goes up in value, everything starts losing value. You need to understand market movements so that when you have been doing it a while, you can see the logic. Now, this is where the whales come in. Now, there are some whales that are completely ignorant and stupid and have more money than cents. And quite of those, a lot of those have gotten involved in the cryptocurrency I speak about in the long term investment course, because they bought an obsc obscene amount. And then they cashed out at 22 times. That's great. And all you know, 22 times, you know, if they put 100,000 in 22 times 100,000, that's 2.2 million. Okay, so that's a huge amount. And of course, you would probably exit out at that point. But if you put something more like 10,000 in, then 220,000, you know, you may not necessarily think, right, that's cash out, that's retirement fund money. It is quite a lot of money. But what you could do is you could wait for the cryptocurrency to be 100 times its value. And if you buy at a price point of, you know, 5 cents, 10 cents, then achieving 100 times gain 
on a cryptocurrency with amazing long-term potential, you are going to make 100 times, if not a 1,000 times gain if you buy at 5 cents, okay? So whales can be stupid, but what whales do is whales understand the long-term value of a cryptocurrency. They put a lot of cash in it early because they know it's a good opportunity. And this is why the whales are always one step ahead because the newbies or the people who rely on others for their information, they are basically waiting for somebody to give them, you know, the knowledge to invest in a coin. They get involved when it's a bit too late and they make significantly less gains. So if you want to be like one of the whales, you need to be understanding what's out there, why the market works the way it does, and seeing the logic behind a coin. With the cryptocurrency long-term opportunity I bring you in my course, I spotted the logic, okay? I looked at the cryptocurrency, I looked at the pain that it solves, I looked at the competition, I looked at the price point, I looked at the other USPs. It's got a reward system, a lot like a master node, you know, and these are the things I've been talking about in previous videos. Listening to my videos gives you a good understanding of what's going on with cryptocurrencies, why they are valuable, and why you should be investing in them. Watching my videos is a good education. So you should be understanding how the market works and then go off on your own eventually. Don't just literally hang on my every word or the every word of, you know, box mining or, or you know, one of the other Mac, um, high on coins. Don't rely on the words of others all the time. The best way to flourish is to go off on your own. So I hope that this has really helped you with understanding what it takes to become a great cryptocurrency guy. Now, people say, oh, super bad. You don't know what you're talking about with cryptocurrency. I have been right on more than 90% of occasions when I've told you a coin is going to do well. There have been some instances it hasn't necessarily gone well, but if I was right all the time, I wouldn't even need to be here right now. Okay, and it's the same with most cryptocurrency experts. They are right most of the time, and that's all you need to be. But most people who do cryptocurrency are wrong most of the time. Wrong. And as much as I love the community of people that have invested in my course and have joined my group and my Telegram chat, basically what I do notice a lot is people pump up a coin without any substance. And that's because they don't know that it's good. They are just trying to hype up their coin so other people get into it. But there are quite a few people in the community that definitely know. You know, they do technical analysis behind the coin. They can read the logic that makes cryptocurrency essentially valuable and then they post it and then I and, and then I can see what also is looking good what my community are fancying and all that kind of stuff so basically to be good at cryptocurrency you need aptitude and time if you have less aptitude you need more time if you have more aptitude you need less time and that's simply the way it is but just get involved in cryptocurrency live it breathe it understand it Stop gambling. That's what people do in cryptocurrency. They gamble. One day's good, one day's bad. Stop gambling. Know what you're investing in and be able to be right most of the time. I've been Supo Man. I hope that this education has helped you today and I will see you in the next episode.